Hey now, what is up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I just got back from the theaters after seeing John Wick Chapter 2. This is a 2017 film that is obviously a sequel to John Wick, where we see Keanu Reeves as John Wick. He wants to be done with this. He's done being an assassin, being a killer. He kind of wanted to just try to have some resemblance of a normal life, but they won't let him. They keep dragging him back in, and they make him do this one mission, and, and at the end of the day, he has a bounty put on him. $7 million for all of these assassins to go after him and kill him. So he basically has to fight his way out. Now, what I thought of John Wick Chapter 2 was... Thankfully, this movie lived up. Thankfully, I enjoyed this movie a lot. I did. Now, did I enjoy it more than the first movie? It's an unfair comparison. Like I said, the first movie was a big surprise. In this one, it's like you were expecting it to be good. And so, I will say that, first of all, Keanu Reeves does continue what he does best as John Wick because he doesn't really have to do a whole lot as far as acting goes. He doesn't have to say a whole lot. He doesn't have to show a lot of emotion because John Wick is pretty much just who he is. We, we saw his backstory. We saw what happened to his dog in the last movie. So this time it's just him being angry. It's just him going after these guys and doing everything that he has to do. I'm more impressed with the fact that Keanu Reeves, who's now, what, 53 or whatever he is, and he's able to pull off these fight sequences. He does damn near most of his stunts, if not all of it. You can see that he is taking down people left and right with his martial arts and just some, some great shootouts going on, some great car chases going on. Some of our side characters we have common as an assassin. I swear, the last like five movies I've seen common in, he's played an assassin or like a silent killer type. And he, because he does that well, he does that here. Him and John Wick have some great fight scenes between them. I loved how there's almost an, a, a mutual understanding between killers, assassins. There's almost their own language. We saw some of that in the first movie with the Continental Hotel. You get more of that here. Lawrence Fishburne, you saw him in the trailer. This is huge. It's a Matrix reunion, Keanu Reeves, Lawrence Fishburne. I do wish that Fishburne was in the movie a little bit more, but for what he has to do, he was fine. They introduced this, this almost subplot where you have these assassins, like almost like damn near half of the population are assassins, it seems like people who are living normal lives. Hell, some people who are homeless you find out are really assassins and I'm sitting there like are they pretending to be homeless or are they homeless and then being an assassin is like a side job or something how the hell does all of this work does it even make sense I don't know but it was all pretty interesting pretty fascinating I was one to go along with it Ian McShane plays Winston who was one of the characters that I almost appreciated the most and of course Ruby Rose this is the third movie I've seen with her in just the last two months. I said before that it was risking me getting sick of her, being annoyed with seeing her in so many movies. And she, once again, she doesn't really do anything to piss me off or really impress me to why she's being cast in all of these movies. Her character here is another assassin who speaks sign language. That's really all there is to say about her. But it's the action. It's John Wick kicking ass. I'm going to give John Wick Chapter 2 a full price. So guys, let me know in the comments below if you have seen John Wick Chapter 2. What did you think of it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later.